it's another evening at toy hunt and we're gonna go hit up this target over here real quick and then there's also a best buy right over here so let's we'll see what we can find hopefully find some good so i got some new baby yodas all right so off looks like the same marvel legends i don't think they have any of the what if wave by any means but Look at Loki here. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Some Lady J. Some Thanos, Doctor Strange action. Transformers looking nice and stocked. They got plenty of those. And DC Land. Still got these Dawnbreakers. Looks like some Bizarro. Bizarro's kind of cool. Just park. The same old, same old. Bugs Bunny LeBron's. Nestor's the universe. None of the new wave we're looking for. Star Wars, of course, is wiped out. It's kind of cool that the Mandalorian lightsaber. Mario Land's looking about the same. It's got kind of a cool new Mario. Look at those guys. Uh, where that is. Wrestling. Here, wrestling folks. The same old, same old there. Everybody likes these AEWs. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. I can't move this out over here. And yeah, no new He Man's. I got these guys though. Still got those guys. Just moving on. Let's go look at the collectibles. I'm so busy over our collectibles. Let's see if there's anything good. Sorry, baby. Same old, same old over here. Much new Dragon Balls. Her Academia. Cool new Funko Pops. Nothing crazy in the Funko. I got those Just League dolls. Oh, they do have a Harley Quinn. You don't see her sitting around very often these days. Venom Fig Pin. It's kind of cool. Uh. And the NECA. Looks like they got a cool restock on the NECA. It's a colossal chrome dome. It's kind of cool. Feature King Kong, Gremlins, Golden Girls. Yeah. Looks like nothing good. I do. That Batmobile. It's kind of cool. But yeah, looks like nothing here that we need, so I guess we'll have to go over to Best Buy and see if there's anything good over there. Alright, we're at GameStop. They have some stuff. Old Ghostbusters collector's box. Not sure what that's all involved. That's Vader Saber. Deadpool, looks like a couple of these guys. Gizmo. Bunch of different phone holders. That's kind of cool. The Boba Fett phone holder and the Mandalorian phone holder. Looks like you got Michelangelo and Daniel LaRusso. And looks like there's some different ones. Johnny Lawrence. Against Donatello. John Kreese against Raphael. And then it looks like in the back there's even a different one. It's a... Uh, Leonardo against Miguel. It's pretty sweet. I wish they weren't so expensive, or else I might get those. Oh, but they do have a Tigra. Tiger, you are coming home with me for sure. Let's put that there. Anything else good? Like Back to the Future 2 Marty. 
Yeah, nothing else I really need. Let's check on action figure side. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Knock things over, baby. We are our local target. Things look about the same as they always do. With the Mandalorian lightsabers, kind of cool. Same old, same old here. Nothing changes. Hopefully, we've got a better look on the action figure aisle. That'd be sweet. Jam-packed. It looks like they had the what if. We have no Spider-Man No Way Home wave, Doctor Strange. I haven't seen that out yet here, but I don't see any of the rest of it by any means. Looks like it's all just the same. Do have a couple of the rogues. I need that. Masters of the Universe. I don't see any of that new wave here yet. It's a little disappointing. We got a couple of Rowdy Pipers. My mother met him once. Oh, Skeletor, Skeletor, Skeletors. Yep. None of that new goodness. Collectibles. Collectibles, more of the same. These Stranger Things guys. Black Spider Man over here. Leonardo. Richard Simmons. Random Marvel. Oh, Hot Girl. The rest of the Turtles. Art series. Michelangelo. Kind of cool. More of the Ahsokas here. All right, welcome back to this target. Let's see if there's anything good. Is there anything good? Not seeing anything yet. Star Wars wiped out. He Man, we got the new ones. No new He-Man. No Buenos Dios. Same old He-Mans. Same old this. Zero Star Wars. So you can see a thing over on the other side. So the DC shipper. Same old there. Just snacking Grogu's. Sea land looks about the same. All that same. All these targets are the same. Oh, it's new. Uh, no way home, Spider-Man. Not that I need it by any means, but it's kind of cool to see. Looks like they got a bunch of the same one out here. Looks like they got a bunch of Cyclops. Shang Chi. Son of the same Doctor Strange. None of the other parts of the sets, though. But yeah, super bizarre, though, that they would have just all these Doctor Strange and just all these Spider Man, but no other characters, and then just like these Cyclops. Are they getting solid cases of these guys, or what? They got tons of crew. No needs any crew. I'm not seeing any of the Fantastic Four. Wave that I need or would like to get. This is kind of cool. New uh, Spider Man. It's kind of those cheap big figures, though, but. Let's see. Nothing outrageous. I guess we'll flip over to collectibles and see if we see anything over there. I guess before we go to collectibles, might as well check out the uh, wrestling for those people that like that. Some AWs for you. Uh, I'll 
these guys. I'm not sure who anybody is. Looks like they got a new battle wagon or something. Got a motorcycle. Battle cage. Some interesting. Wiped out a Mario Kart. It's kind of cool though. Another Mario Kart track. I think I've seen that one before. Looks like it comes with like a purple Yoshi or blue Yoshi. Looks like the collectibles look pretty well stocked, but nothing that I see that I need. You got Liu Kang. A bunch of different Funko Pops. Looks like Albus Dumbledore and the Hogwarts. New Funko tee. I like that it has the black hat on it, but I don't suppose I need it just for that. They got more of the Michelangelo's here. Game of Thrones. Parks and Rec. Like this. Oh, that's kind of cool. New Halloween set. Kind of creepy looking Jamie Lee Curtis. Kong. There's a Muck Everlasting. Muck Everlasting. Whatever that is. Oh, yeah. Alright, looking like there is nothing at this stop here for me, so. Moving on. All right, we are early at Walmart. We are looking for the goods. Looks like they are well stocked on Joe's. It's crazy. Yeah, Joe's everywhere. Got a bunch of these guys. So we got one of everybody. Over this, no Marvel Legends. Go for the Fantastic Four. Let's see, any the Fantastic Four. For any new He Man. That's kind of cool. I'm not collecting this series, but it's a cool looking one. Let's see, any retro He Man. Do have the furry Panther. Some Predators. Oh, we got the Archive. Star Wars. Let's see, I'll we'll grab a trooper. Looks like there's Leia, Trooper, Obi Wan, Leia. Yeah, yeah we'll grab the trooper. Let's see. Man. Oh, we got Turbo Man. Let's see, anything else good? Anything else? Oh, oh. They do have some like that series. They got this guy. Oh, looks like four pegs of these. Oh, just Lays and Landos. Didn't need any of those, but I will grab these two. Just because. This thing's pretty well stocked around here. Not seeing anything else though. Where's those Fantastic Four? Oh, do have these guys down here. Let's see. Oh, it's just this wave. I don't need any of those. Oh, they got her. But none of the rest of it. Don't have that Spider-Man that I need. Walmart. See if there's anything good. Transformers. She got Joe's. We got a bunch of the Ajax. These guys. Uh, zero. Bo-Katan. Did you get the zero? Do I have the zero? Oh, I do have the zero. We got the zero. Looks like they got a peg. These guys. Kind of a rare thing to see. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, they got all these guys. These back. Stink ore. The web store.
Beast Man. Let's see what else. Another bunch of skellies. Mud store, stink ore, you got her. It's nice to finally see those in the store. Definitely a pickup. That scale. What's this here? It's kind of cool. Snake Mountain. Sorry about that. I had to kind of get a grip. All right, got a little excited there, but uh, yes, moving on. Let's get some of the WWs. These guys. Let's check out Hot Wheels real quick. Let's see, oh, they got a ton of wrestlers over here. That's that we need though. Looks like Hot Wheels are wiped out. Uh, yeah, let's go over collectibles and see what's going on over there. All right, now we're at Costco. We're looking at Costco Toy Isle. Looks like we got the cool Mario starter kit. We got a Mario Luigi. Bunch of Legos. Looks like a ton of Grogu's. This is kind of cool, the Harry Potter doll set. It's pretty awesome. Looks like we got the Mandalorian puzzles. Looks like it's a 3D puzzle. It's a pretty sweet one. And the Boba Fett, and the Harry Potter, kind of like that Razor Crest and the Sandcrawler. And we got a Batmobile thing for ride on. Let's see. Let's see what else? Those glow forts, Thomas the Tank Engine. It's like some. Books. So we're coming down here. Looks like we got some Spider-Man cars, sorts, and controls. And then we come to here. Oh, look at this. It's a remote control Razor Crest, the Mandalorian. And there's a remote control Baby Yoda. They're only $20.99. I wonder. I kind of want one of these. Razor crests. Oh, the lady's gonna shoot me. Oh, and then there's a ton of the Grogu's. You know, the old uh, robotic Grogu's. I think I might grab one of these Mandos. I don't know, Baby Yoda or Mando? I don't know. I'm gonna have to do Mando. Alright, local Target. Looks like they have. <laughs> what if wave? Already got those guys. Cold Fantastic Four. Looks like only Mr. Fantastic. Uh, I don't need any of that. These figures. Why would they only have Mr. Fantastic? I have all of it. It's like everybody's buying up all the rest of this stuff. You ready for it? No, look. Look. That's cute. That's so you got this Loki. That's kind of cool. I'm going to go for it. You're not gonna get it. What do you think? If you want. No. Nothing great. Nothing great. It's super disappointing though that that's all they have. It's Mr. Fantastic. I guess zombie cat yeah, is kind of cool, but okay, that looks like a bunch of the regular Eternal stuff. Nothing cool, Age of Apocalypse wise. I think they got plenty of these G.I. Joes. They got Scarlet and Baroness. So like Transformer Boys. Let's see good ones here. It's kind of cool. They got Wolverine Diorama. They got the Iron Man Gauntlet. Let's check out the Star Wars side though. And we are on the other side. Oh, it looks like they got the wave of Masters of the Universe. And then I need Stratos, Jitsu, 
buzz off. Oh, and the sorceress. Nice. These bad boys are coming home with me. Baby, we got the sorceress. Get that out. And buzz off. Looks like Star Wars is a nothing zone. As per usual. Looks like there's some AEW stuff. Not that we're buying any of that, but got these guys. Scorpio Sky. John Moxley. Frankie. Whoever. Lots of Grogu's. I'm waiting for these guys to go on sale. Or the clearance or something, but that probably won't be until next year sometime, right? I guess next year is not too far away. Same thing else, Jurassic Park. Uh, no Ninja Turtle stuff at this one, I don't think. It's like Pokemon. Got these bad boys. Got some Charizard action. Got a little Mineral Charmander. Battle Academy. Um, yeah. Nothing else that we really want or need. It's cool Mario guys. Sonic the Hedgehog, got Penguin Mario, got Toadstool, the Ghosty. So I'll see if we can swing over to the collectible section here before the lady hollers at us. Just notice this guy. That's kind of funny. Learning more from Pudgy Pig. Pudgy Pig. two collectibles. We've got a sizable collectible section over here. Is it this or that? It's kind of do. I haven't seen that. It's kind of funky. Warhammer. So we got a bunch of Funkos. Got these black light stranger things. Good boys. Got these dust and Demogorgon. Um, art Donatello. It looks like they got a bunch of the art Ninja Turtle guys here. I don't know buying that by any means, but it's kind of cool to see those hanging around. That's what those things are. Here you have the Cobra Kai, Johnny Lawrence, Donatello. Let's see, DC Bombshells. Uh, yeah, this one's pretty well stocked. It's a lot better than my usual Target. But I am a little bit further from home out here. So we've got the Casey Jones mask, some Elvis action, a couple of starlights. Still was never able to find Homelander, but it says to be expected. Looks like they got the Kame House cookie jar. That's kind of cool. Bought one of those from my buddy Harold some odd years ago. It's cool Godzilla guys. Looks like some Goku's, got some Krillin. Mahiru Academia, whatever that is. Uh, Godzilla, you know, homeboy, whatever his name was. So we got the Bat Cave. Yeah, it looks like that's all I'm gonna see for now. Kind of a cool Spider Man, uh, shiny. One Division t shirt. Like some sort of funny plushy pillow. Yeah, big score on these He-Man. Been looking for those guys. But yeah, on to the next. Say goodbye for now, baby. Alright, here we are at Best Buy. Looks like that's cool. They've got a collector's box, Mando, Boba Fett. That's pretty bad with Boba Fett. And there, and looks so, oh, oh. We got some of the, I already got the Tiger and, oh, Human Torch. I need me some Human Torch action. Definitely need him. All they need is the thing. Anywhere's the thing. Anywhere's the thing. Is there a thing? So we got a thing in the house. Is there a thing here? Nope. Nothing in the house. That's cool enough though. Some other cool kind of stuff here. Dragon Ball Z box. Little control cars. They got a ton of these Ninja Turtle stand-ups. If I didn't just get the X-Men one, I might be able to talk the lady into one, but... That is never going to happen. They got the NBA Jam and the Simpsons. Oh, shit. The Simpsons. 
<sighs> yeah, no way in hell I'll ever be able to let talk her into letting me get one of these bad boys, but I really want one. Simpson stand up. That would be amazing. Let's see if there's any other toy sections around here. Looks like their other toy section is wiped out because as you can see, there's nothing. But they do have some cool NECA stuff. Kind of the usual stuff. They got some. Uh, I tricked out a Pokemon, Battle Academy, and minimal Legos. But yeah, other than that, not a whole lot doing. Uh, should a couple more Lego sets. But again, not a lot. Alright, on to the next. At least we found a human torch. Alright, so we're back at a super out of the way Walmart. Let's see if there's anything good for us here. So you got their G.I. Joe's crazy stocked. That's some sort of variant of sorts. Some Marvel Legends down here. Looks like I haven't seen this guy. Legion. Legion. Iceman. Oh, they do have Shadow Cat. I haven't seen the Shadow Cat yet. Might actually get this. Because. Yeah. Looks like, looks like they got a whole uh, what if wave down here. Which is pretty cool. Seeing all those. Nebula, Captain Carter. Of course, no Spider Man. I'll take this Kitty Pride though. Couldn't avoid Star Wars. So just a couple Landos. Here's the Turbo Man. Where would I be? If I were a Ninja Turtle, just gonna have to kind of look around a little bit. Maybe no Ninja Turtles down here. So yeah, more Masters Universe there. Not like what is this one? Okay, cool. I haven't seen that yet. It's kind of different. Guys. All right, so today we are going to do mail calls and recent pickups. Uh, so I finally got a bunch of stuff that I was looking for here and they're scattered. Uh, let's start with this. Uh, picked up some of these Fantastic Fours. Got the Human Torch, so that's pretty awesome to finally get uh, that guy. I like how he's kind of translucent. Looks a little cooler than uh, some of the previous releases. Of course, you already saw the Mr. Fantastic. Everybody sees him peg warming now. Uh, but also did pick up uh, the Invisible Woman, which is pretty awesome. It's kind of funny, though. This Invisible Woman kind of looks like Christina Pajitsky. I don't know if you know that who that is. It's Tom Segura's wife. Uh, but yeah, if you look kind of close at her in person, uh, she has kind of Christina's face, which is kind of funny there. Uh, let's go into actually what this is, uh, because this kind of goes along with what I just showed you there. And this is something awesome that I never had. Actually, I showed you in probably a previous video. I got a different version of this particular item. Um, but yeah, this is the same thing, but different version. Let's see if I can get into it, actually. It's like a little Fort Knox of packages here. Come on, come on. Slip, 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 slide out of this. Of course, there's more things to get into. Let's see if we make this as easy and painless as possible. We'll get into this bad boy. Yeah. All right. What are we looking at? What are we looking at? What are we looking at? Oh, oh, oh. What are we looking at is the original version of what I just showed you. So this is um, basically this is the second Invisible Woman figure to come out, and this came out in 1994. Uh, the original Invisible Woman figure came out on the Mar Marvel Universe, uh, just regular Universe Superheroes card back. I showed you that before, but that figure looked like garbage, whereas this figure actually looks really good for what it is. Hopefully I can get it to kind of focus in there a little bit. Yeah, so there's the Invisible Woman. She actually kind of looks decent enough, decent hair. Whereas the other one, she kind of looked like, uh, I don't know, like the kind of, I don't know, maybe Karen kind of hairdo. I'm not quite sure, but, uh, but yeah, I showed you before I have the actually the clear version of this. Uh, I'll show you that again. 
while I'm thinking about it, while I'm at it, because it's just right here. I can just kind of, hopefully, without too much damage of everything, bust that out for you. Yeah, so that's the, the invisible version. So there's regular version, invisible version. It's pretty awesome. This is the yeah, original old Fantastic Four line of toys. Came out kind of with the cartoon. So that's pretty sweet. Um, another cool pickup I got recently was this bad boy. This is the Power Rangers, Pink Ranger, uh, Mighty Morphin Ranger Slayer uh, from the Lightning Collection. I actually, this was a pickup at Ross. And I, I wasn't, you know, I don't really have any of these figures. Uh, I do have the whole set of the uh, the old retro flip head. Uh, but I thought this would just be kind of cool to kind of have out. And I like the cape on her. And it's kind of the black and pink suit is pretty awesome in itself and i like the original power rangers i'm not i've never been too into anything after the original mighty Morphin power ranger series uh but yeah i thought that was pretty cool kind of like a dark version of kimberly probably put that into my case with the retros once i open it all up and actually i don't even think i've shown you my whole set of retros yet but i'll get to that eventually um all right what else do we get what else do we get um hey, let's get into this thing uh just because it's here Check out this badness that we got in the mail. I uh, found this on eBay because so I was actually kind of looking for like the newer versions of these. Um, and I kind of came across this one with like a decent price on it. And then I made an offer on it uh, for a little cheaper of a price and the guy accepted. So this is actually a retro figure from the 80s. I don't know if we can get into it. It's packed really well. Kudos to this guy. Actually, he put his card in here. Um, card? The, the Mr. Beard. Uh, the Mr. Beard was the guy that I bought this from. There's his card. Nice little business card, little thank you, and all of thatness. Um, but yeah, let's see. Yeah. Let's get into this bad boy. Come on, come on. Now, this is an original He Man figure. Masters of the Universe. And this is the original web store. So, this guy actually came complete. He's still got the strings attached. Uh, but yeah, I've never really had a bunch of He-Man when I was a kid. Actually, the only remnants of a He-Man figure I have is all just like a leg, maybe an arm somewhere. Um, but yeah, it still has his original weapons, so that was pretty awesome. And I'm excited to set this up onto my snake mount, and I'll probably tack the hook up onto the ceiling or something like that. So he's kind of like, you know, rappelling down to the uh, snake mountain. But I just thought that was pretty cool to find at a decent price, because on the eBay... There's scattered prices, but they're usually pretty high priced. And this one was pretty low for what it was. So I was like, yep, snagged it. Win for the day. Win for the day. What else new did I get? Oh, yeah. Now, since we're talking about Master of the Universe, I did pick up the Jitsu. I've actually picked up this whole wave. So I got the Jitsu. I got the Stratos. There's the Stratos and all of his glory. And I found the Sorceress and all of her glory, which is pretty awesome because, yeah, this one's definitely better than the one that comes with the uh, Castle Grayskull, uh, the new one at least. And then, of course, can't have the rest of the Top it off with the Buzz Off because, yeah, and that's the rest of this most recent wave that came in. And then, of course, as you maybe saw in my last Toy Hunt video, I picked up... Oh, 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 getting out of my hand. Got Beast, Beast Man. And then, actually, I just picked this up for my work because I got it pr pretty cheap. I got the He-Man figure. And this is the cool one because this is the second uh, version of this to come out. So he's got the old hairline, not the new kind of longer hairline. Uh, so this is kind of the, uh, I guess, the variant head because the original one that came out with this new retro set looked a little different than that. And then, of course, we got Stinkor because you can't have the whole He-Man set without having a stink or And I was disappointed about this, though, is it doesn't have a smell, I believe. Because I saw, like, actually a review on a YouTube guy opened up a stink or and there was no smell. Like, the old one kind of had an old, like, kind of sulfurous, stinky smell to it, which was pretty awesome. But they did not do that on these new retro stink ores. And then, of course, I picked up Web Store. This is the new Web Store as opposed to the old Web Store. So let's do a side-by-side -side comparison of these guys. And see what they look like side by side. See, old web store, new web store. They're actually darn spot on, similar. Pretty, yeah, pretty similar. But I think there's a different kind of uh, plastic used for the head. The head's like slightly different uh, on the old one and the new one. Uh, but yeah, it's still pretty cool to have both the old and the new. 
All right, let's get to another package here. Let's see what's in this package here. We got another box. It says fragile. Should be something good. I know that this has got to be something old as well. Uh, I've been kind of going on down the rabbit hole of buying a bunch of the uh, Toy Biz figures from when I was a child. The Toy Biz Marvel and the DC were the figures that I played with as a kid. Um, I, yeah, I didn't get a lot of the other stuff. I was a super into comic books when I was a kid. Um, so, of course, naturally, I was driven to play with the comic book action figures. And they were readily kind of available everywhere. So, here we go. Let's see which one we got here. This is from the 90s. And this is... This is... Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I did have this as a child. Um, but the only thing I have left is like a torso piece, like it's just like the chest piece. I don't have any of the rest of it left because it just fell apart. But it's the original Dr. Octopus from the Marvel Super Heroes line. And this was one of my favorite action figures as a kid because he had the suction cup tentacles, he also had the grabby tentacles, and they had wires in them so you could bend them in any position that you would want. And he would stick on to lots of stuff. So of course back then it was like your TV screen, your window, anything you needed to stick him on. You could stick him on and he could fight Spider-Man in crazy different places up on your walls, up or wherever else. Um, just because he had the suction cups. And there was Spider-Man that had the suction cups too. So it's pretty awesome to get another one of these because I no longer possess Dr. Octopus. And he was one of my favorite figures ever. Moving on. Now this is something new, as opposed to what I was just showing you, the old stuff. Um, ordered this, I think it might be an Amazon exclusive, so I ordered it on there. <coughs> Hadn't heard of it being anywhere else, by any means. Um, but this is the Credit Collection Mandalorian. And a lot of people are upset that they can just keep on repainting things, and putting them in new packaging, and whatever else. But... I don't really mind when it comes to the Mandalorian because it's basically a brand new Mando because he has different paint. So if you set these up, plus this out of the package, set them up with a bunch of different Mandalorians, you wouldn't tell that it's Din Djarin because, you know, he's different colored, so he's got different paint schemes. So he could be a basically a brand new, by himself Mandalorian character that is not Din Djarin if you set him up with the rest of them. You know, just take away his gun so it doesn't look so signature. And all that, but I'm pretty excited that they came out with this. I actually also pre-ordered the uh, Grief Karga. I know a lot of people weren't too thrilled that they had a new repainted Grief Karga, but I ordered it because it's really cool, and I have the rest of this credit collection. So I decided it was, you know, kind of a good idea to pick this up. And it's got really cool uh, art on the back, you know, kind of a cool fighting scene, stormtroopers, and all that. And yeah, I just thought it was pretty cool, so I bought it. You know how it goes. If it's cool and you see it, you gotta buy it. All right, moving on. Where else? I kind of lost something that I wanted to show you here. I'm gonna have to go and find that real quick. All right, so also another thing that I got that was really cool, finally came in the mail. Uh, I've been expecting this for months. It comes from all the way in Singapore. And if you're a Star Wars collector and you're on Facebook and you know what figures come from Singapore, this comes from none other than Mark Poon himself. And I actually pre-ordered these back in the summer. And I'm super excited to get these because I have the whole rest of his uh, sets in regards to these because he does basically the original um, droids line of, of fi action figures. Um, the, basically the volume two that never was produced. So he actually produced them, brought, brought, brought them out with coins, and then now he's on to doing the Ewoks cartoon series two that never came out. So I went ahead and pre-ordered the first couple that he was going to do, and here we go. So this was supposed to be part of uh, series two of the Ewoks cartoon figures that never came out, and this is, uh, I mean, uh, this is Weechi, Weechi. I think this was Wicket's dad. Is it? Correct me if I'm wrong. I think this might be Wicket's dad. So this is Weechi. He's supposed to be Wicket's dad. And he came with some cool uh, stuff. He actually came with his own coin. So we got a coin. And this is a real metal. Actually, you know, and these guys, he, he has these made in the factories that Star Wars figures would be made in. Um, so they're actually, you know, pretty legit for what they are. And it also came with a little staff and a little knife. And the staff's got a cool staff. It's got little, little feathers on the top. And then the knife looks like, you know, it was made out of like a, you know, obsidian kind of 
sketched out bone or whatever else. And yeah, it's pretty cool because I think these are actually the accessories that he was supposed to come with originally. And then also, you know, you had to pre-order these in twos. So I got the second one and the second one bum, ba, da, bum, is the cartoon version of Paplu. Here's the cartoon version of Paplu, as you know, in the Return of the Jedi series. Actually, maybe it's in the last 17, but ah, either way, there's Paplu, and it doesn't look all cartoony and kind of cool like this. Let me see if I can get this to focus in a little bit better, just because, get on my face, get on my face. Let me see, come on, there's Paplu. Come on, focus, Paplu. There you go. There's in focus, Paplu. This is super awesome to finally get, because again, part of the uh, wave two of the uh, original Ewoks cartoon figures that never came out. And there's the signature coin. And yeah, that's pretty awesome. That's the Ewoks thing on the back. You know, I kind of wish in a way that he would have done the coins in like the original copper, like the old Ewoks cartoon ones came with. Uh, but it's all right. Either way, it's cool. It's a metal coin. And then he came with a horn and a club. And the horn and the club is pretty cool. I'll do another video later when I show you kind of like all those together. All the other ones that I got of those uh, that series from Mark Poon and my droids figures because I got the old custom uh, droids series too that he did. It'd be kind of cool if they end up doing a series three of droids. I don't know if there was ever a design for those by any means, uh, but it'd still be kind of cool. Um, but he does have coming out probably the rest of the Ewoks uh, cartoon wave. Um, so yeah. Let's get to the last of the mail call here. Let's see, what did I do with my cutting utensil? I lost my cutting utensil. Of course, of course, of course. Can't find it, can't find it. I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. Let's see here. Okay, here we go. Oh, yep, yep, nope. All right. So, this is the last of the mail call boxes that I've been sitting on. All this stuff together is probably like a month's worth of stuff I've been sitting on. Uh, let's see. Yeah. But I did just get those Ewoks today, so I was super compelled to do a video. Plus, I finally cut my hair. It had been a minute since I cut my hair, so... Alright, what did we get here? Now, this is another 1990s action figure. And this was another one of my favorite figures when I was a kid. I actually still have this one intact, although I think part of it has been compromised. So this is cool to kind of get. And this is kind of an honor of my new arcade machine here because I got the new X-Men, uh, you know, arcade one-up from GameStop and it comes with the Captain America and the Avengers game and some weird old Avengers fighting game that I'd never seen before. Uh, but this was my favorite game when I was a kid uh, to play in the arcade and I would just spend like all sorts of time sitting out of playing it. Uh, but the figure I got in honor of the arcade game is Nightcrawler and this is pretty awesome because again, just like Dr. Octopus and that Spider-Man, he came with suction cups. So he had the suction cup on the knee, he had a suction cup on his hand, he came with a cool sword, and his tail um, had like a bendy, wiry thing in it, so you could position it any way you wanted. The tail could hold things, so you could have him suction cupped up onto a mirror or up on a window, and he could be holding something in his tail, holding something in his hand, and it was awesome. But I loved this action figure, so I just had to have another version of it, or well, at least a carded version of it. Um, because, you know, maybe I might open it up one day, but it's also cool to just have in a package because these packages from back then were the best, like the best art, the best kind of display. And, you know, it was kind of cool how they displayed all the other figures you could get on the back. So I was pretty super excited to get that. So that is awesome. Love Nightcrawler. Love the old X-Men and Marvel comic book action figures because they are the best. All right. Well, I think that is all I have from now, uh, but I'll talk to you guys soon. Oh yeah, also we went to a, a gem show recently and attached to the gem show they were having like a Christmas bazaar. Um, so it was just mostly Christmas stuff. But this one lady or guy or whoever had the section where they had some like old toys stuff sitting around. You know, nothing incredible, nothing that you'd really want a lot of. Uh, but I did find this and this is the Big Mac McDonald's car. I had this as a kid. Actually, I still have this thing somewhere. Uh, but these are the little zip cars. So, you know, you pull them back and you let them roll and they zip along. And they were pretty awesome. Let me see if I can get that to focus in a little bit better. Come on, focus in a little bit better on the Big Mac car. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty awesome. So this was the uh, basically the cop, the cop McDonald's cop guy. It was basically a burger, 
but he was a cop. And yeah, so that was pretty cool to find. And then also he had uh, this old Batman animated series from McDonald's figure sitting there. And it was the Catwoman. Well, I couldn't pass that up. And this wasn't, you know, nothing special action figure. It was jointed, so you could move her, oh, I guess arms and hips. Her hip, stomach, I guess there's three joints. Um, so her sh shoulders would move, and then her middle would move. Um, but it came with a weird, like, maybe saber tooth tiger cat thing, something sitting there in there. Uh, but I just thought that was a pretty cool find. So I picked it up, you know, just random finds at weird, random places. Also, another thing I picked up is I was randomly at a GameStop, you know, of course, toy hunting at a GameStop because, you know, randomly you can find stuff. And I found this, this She-Hulk. Uh, the She-Hulk looks pretty badass. It comes with two different heads. I kind of like the mad head better. So if I do open this up, I'll probably switch out the head for the mad looking head. Uh, but I'm not sure if this is a uh, GameStop exclusive or whatnot, but it's definitely not part of the series because on the back, it's just this picture. And usually if it's part of a series, there's the other figures that are part of that series. Um, but this was not. So maybe it's GameStop exclusive. Maybe it's just like a random occurrence. But yeah, this was like, I don't know, maybe a month ago or something like that that I found that there. So I'm not sure if that's brand new. Yeah, it says 2021. So this thing just came out. But yeah, I thought that was pretty awesome. So I picked that up as well. 